Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Long Live the Queen. Here we are. Oh my goodness, this is the last episode, episode number 7. Wow, what's our next class? Uh, your mentor summons up magical enemy targets to strike the nearby ground so that you can learn since summon everyone else uh, uses spells. Well, there you go. Uh, your agents um, report a buildup of military strength, particularly warships, uh, major powers across the ocean and the west. If they send conquering fleets, Nova might be in danger. However, it takes time to assemble vessels, and you have advanced warning. Um, so we can make preference. The downside is they won't come cheap. Build more warships. There you go. Uh, warships, so we should uh, improve our naval presence. So in order to assemble new ships, strengthening your weaponry, cladding exists, uh, comes trouble, you'll be ready for it. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to mood. Okay, so let's try and make ourselves a little bit more, uh, let's try and make ourselves more cheerful. Cheerful, yielding, lonely? Um, maybe. Uh, cheerful, yielding, and lonely, or maybe, is there anything else? Cheerful and lonely. Okay, yeah, so cheerful and lonely, let's do that. So, uh, there you go. Now we are a little bit better. Oh my goodness, and we go to skills, we can see, very good, plus 0 0.98 in that. So we want to make our naval strategy higher. Uh, so naval strategy and resist magic. So we want to go to classes, we want to go to resist magic and naval strategy. Uh, that needs to be done because, of course, um, <coughs> we need to be good enough to uh, defeat these uh, things that are coming up. And, uh, you know, if we're, if we're going to be entering a naval battle, things are going to be bad. You learn about the re... Uh, Requirement for all civilized sailors to rescue crew sinking ship, even an enemy. You learn about the challenges of naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather, as well as the dangers of sailing too close to unknown coastlines. You learned about the use of ship and transportation goods of soldiers between locations. Wow, you gain an innate resistance to light and dark magic. You can now see um, in the blackest of caves uh, and stare at the sun without going blind. We have uh, unlocked a new outfit. I have an unpleasant news to report. Uh, has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions to the Ilath border. Business is uh, disrupted and there are going to be shortages of supply. Send emergency aid or... Um and we're going to bankrupt ourselves. We're going to do nothing. So business got harder doesn't mean it happens all the time. It's my fault they didn't plan ahead. Unfortunately, uh, I need to visit the treasury. Uh, they go, part of, you try to explain the guards. You need to visit the treasury in order to get accurate reports. They, they, uh, but in the end, they stand uh, by your father's command. Oh, damn it. Okay, we go to mood. We can now see everything is good. We want to feel. We want to feel more pressured. Is there anything that's going to make us feel pressured? I don't really know. Um, so okay, something that will make us feel pressured. I have no idea. Um, we have a new outfit. Uh, outfit. Uh, boost intrigue. Boost lumen. Wow. That's an outfit and a half. Okay, that's a weird. That's a very strange outfit there. Uh, skills. We can boost our military power maybe a little bit more, um, but I think having a better lumen is going to be going to be useful for us. Um, all right, I could I could just do accounting so I can get in there and see what uh, what our treasury is at, but uh, unfortunately I can't. So uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to boost the lumen or do I want to boost military? Well, I don't think I'm going to need okay outfit. I don't think I'm going to need to. Uh, Done. Uh, if I go to skills, I can see plus 1.14. Maybe, maybe that's gonna help. So I'm going to uh, do two classes in uh, magic. I'm gonna go to sense magic, and uh, then I'm going to go to uh, lumen, and I'm gonna go to wield magic. And if I go to skills, I can see that that's pr that's probably uh, an accurate enough uh, choice for for both. If I go to classes and I click done, we are going to be able to sense magic and do everything we wanted. Uh, by constraint, you can create wave of uh, discontent, which pan uh, which panics or enrages animals in the area. You learn to create a blade of solid light, which you can wield like a sword, slice through fish and stone alike. Uh, you close your eyes and call out to detect your mentor casting a silent spell beside you. You can detect ongoing enchantments such as blessed weapons uh, that can do magical damage. My lady, there are letters for you. Another letter from Brioni. She keeps writing to me. Uh, we were never even friends. She says uh, she's bored and lonely. She was looking forward to seeing me at a uh, birthday party. That's right. It's about to turn 15. She'll be Duchy of Sudbury for real now. The only uh, letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration. And I were friends at school. This will only be a big event, uh, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things could happen on the road. Um, the divination failed. Um, we should go to the party. All right. It'll be good to see my friends. So we are going to go to the party. How's our mood now? Uh, we want to feel more pressured. What's going to make us feel pressured? Plus one pressured, uh, plus two yielding. Oh my god. Is there anything else that makes us pressured? No. 
Plus one pressured, minus one willful. Okay, yeah, sure, I can do that. Um, so, two of the barracks. You're impressed by the discipline and open troops. Responsibility for your life weighs heavily on our shoulder. Approximately eight battalions, two platoons. Uh, progress on new warship is reported to proceed um, well. Okay. We go to skills and we can see uh, there's that. Now we want to go, I would say, uh, resist magic and then strategy. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, so no, that in logistics. So we want to go to resist magic and logistics. So I'm going to go to classes. We're going to go to resist magic, and then we're going to go to intrigue, and we're going to go to, sorry, uh, military. We're going to go to logistics. There you go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, you learn uh, to constantly uh, project a, a magical field around your body, blocking intrusion, a powerful uh, technique, but you can't keep it up for long. You gain increased resistance against heat and cold, becoming comfortable in different weather and environments. Uh, you're able to sip hot soup without burning our tongue. Oh, my God. You study how to determine uh, when the jettison or to destroy. Um, at, oh, my God. 86. Uh, good for speed and how to avoid overreaching. You learn about how to calculate enemy um, war preparations based on the movement of goods to their land. The armies uh, do not spring forth until uh, full formed overnight. You study the benefits of looting troop motivator versus uh, negative effects of civilian populations. On your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits. Uh, archery plus reflexes equals fail plus three afraid. You look down, uh, it buried itself uh, into your side. Outside, you can hear screams, but it feels unreal. Your world is certain around pain. Um, you struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. Your head, sorry. Um, you brace yourself. You give it in a shove. Unfortunately, it only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs. A fatal one. Wow. And there you go. That's how uh, this game ends. And then we die. And that's the, that's the joy of this. Ellie did not survive reaching her coronation. Nova could go on without her, but doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, different, train a different skill, and LED star may rise. Um, so we go to the title screen, and there you go. So that was beautiful. No no slots. It doesn't matter because we, we lost that game. Um, so I'm just going to go to return. So there you go. That is, I mean, on episode 7, it's great that... Um, it's great that we actually got there because, I mean, we can click that. Oh, we can actually read about that. That's interesting. Uh, anyways, there you go. Long live the queen. I guess now is a good time to sort of talk about uh, what's going on. Uh, this is um, this is actually really good. I have I thoroughly enjoyed this. I'm you know. I think this was uh, I think this was really this was really fun. So um, there you go. I would I would definitely recommend this, and um, I think. I think it is fantastic. Uh, it's a lot of fun, you know? I, I really wouldn't have expected it, but uh, there we go. Uh, turns out um, turns out this was very, very cool. Um, if I were to do it again, maybe I would go to history, Novan history a little bit, and uh, faith. A divination was an important one um, to, to have. Although conversation, we're not really there yet. Uh, faith, we're going to make divination go up a little bit. We can get sense magic as, as much as possible. So, yeah, I mean, just these choices, the sort of elements that are sort of, I mean, they feel a little bit like random, but they, they, they aren't, you know, really. I think it's a set story. But just all the events that could happen... It's actually really cool. Um, so I mean, that's that's awesome. I think I think this is a whole lot of fun, and it's very cool to uh, to actually do all of this stuff. There's plenty of different branching paths, I'm sure, and uh, it feels like there's a lot of replay value in this. Actually, I want to see maybe what happens at the end. Can we live a whole year? Are we just gonna die constantly? Who knows? But um, you know, very very fun to play. Very. Very interesting idea. I had a lot of fun in this compared to what I, what I thought I would. I definitely didn't think that I would. So that that just that just made things a whole lot cooler. Um, we can go to reflexes and stuff, uh, conversation, uh, public speaking. So now we want to go. Uh, to, we're going to go to classes. We we're going we're gonna to do divination, but we want to go to uh, conversation, uh, public speaking. So there you go. We're going to finish that one up. There you go. See, uh, plenty of cool things to do, and you know, I'm I'm not too sad that, that we lost that game. I mean, it's the kind of game that I feel like it's like intended by the game that that that, that would happen. So, it's like, um, it's just you know, it's just uh, it, this is just like par for the course. This is exactly what goes on. I trusted your mother. Send her away. Arrest her. Let her stay. Obviously, you want to let her stay because uh, she's the one who's going to teach you about the crystal, and that's going to be one of the most important parts. Uh, so, um. It, 
now, I mean, obviously, maybe maybe if we send her away, there's something else happens. You know, maybe maybe uh, if you don't go down the crystal path, maybe there's something else. Maybe you don't want to learn about Lumen. But I feel like that's probably blocking off a, a section of the game by uh, by doing that. That you you might not uh, you might not want to uh, you might not want to do. So um, if I go to divination and um, court manners, all right, there you go. We're just gonna get ourselves real good at uh, at uh, being a divine, and then uh, we're gonna see at what uh, what that does. So now we we're now our skills are, are quite boosted. All right. So it's talking about a boyfriend. Uh, very nice. Oh, don't move. Hold still. Uh, composure equals failed. Okay. So I mean, maybe you could remember like everything that happens and start training in those skills as much as possible. I mean, I wonder if there's a way to actually uh, pass that composure strike uh, and uh, have uh, our friend there not get struck by the snake. Maybe maybe that would be cool. Maybe that'd be a thing uh, that would be uh, quite interesting. Uh, what what do I like never do here? I mean, I could like let's explore the castle. Let's uh let's make ourselves like really lonely and afraid. Um, I mean, who knows what kind of what kind of cool like things that would do if we like bring things down? Maybe like depressed, yielding. Who knows? I mean, things could be. I mean, things could be real wild if I if I if I go down this way. Now we can see our skills. They have uh, boosted up in here. Uh, no, they haven't boosted up in uh, royal demeanor, unfortunately. Where where else have they gone up? Still in uh still in that um. Maybe we could uh, we can boost up public speaking and uh, let's just go uh, let's go lore. Uh, so there you go. I mean this is I mean at this point it's not like uh, I mean of course if you guys want to see me play more of this as usual and this can't be real. I, I mean I, I recommend this game. It's great. I think it's on the I think it's on sale on Steam right now. Um, maybe like half off or something. I forget. Uh, but you can get it on Steam and it's great. I would recommend it. To be honest, if you're into this kind of game, you're into this kind of game. If you've seen this and think it looks crap, why are you still watching episode seven? Maybe you just stumbled upon episode seven. That's fine. But there you go. I think it's quite good. Surprisingly enough, I mean, geez, I wouldn't expect a game like this to be good at all. But, uh, I mean, it's it's much... Uh, the only game I've played uh, similar to this, and again, it's very different, it's this Cherry Tree High Comedy Club, and that game sucked. And this game is actually good. So there you go. Surprising enough. So that's my recommendation for uh, this week's This Can Be Real. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.